My name is Glenn Crocker, I'm the Chief Executive of BioCity. This is BioCity behind us and in these uh, buildings around. And uh, many people will have seen BioCity, I'm sure, driving along Pennyfoot Street or along London Road and wondered what on earth is going on here. Well, I'll tell you a bit about that, but also about our new building over here, which we're just about to open, and uh, we'll let you know what's going on. So this used to be Boots Pharmaceuticals and about 500 odd people used to work here in research. Then the place was closed down and the whole site was donated to Nottingham Trent University. And BioCity was formed from the basis of that. And what we do is we provide a base for early stage startup bioscience and pharmaceutical companies and a whole environment that makes them as successful as we possibly can. So this is our first building here, building R3, which is sort of an incubation building. That's for the, the early stage companies just getting going. This is for building uh, Stuart Adams building, and that is for more mature companies. Stuart Adams building was named after the discovery of ibuprofen, and that was discovered on this very site. And I'm sure everybody's popped a neurofen at some time or another and know exactly what that's all about and how important that pharmaceutical is. So now we're going to go over to the new building. Uh, that used to be an old 1970s, pretty grotty looking building. And I'm sure people that have driven by this road will know just how grotty it was. And one of the things that we wanted to do was try and smarten it up and bring it up to the 21st century. So hopefully we've achieved that with this whole new entrance area. In total, it cost uh, about five million pounds to put this all together but because we had an existing building there that was a hell of a lot less than building from scratch. If we wanted to build this from scratch it would cost about 20 to 25 million pounds. Let's go and see the cleaners. <laughs> Lovely. So the ends will be able to run down smooth and nice. Lovely. Glide down. These are the curtains that are going to be pulled by the two vice chancellors of the universities in Nottingham, along with uh, Phil Hope, the Minister of the East Midlands, and Steve Brown, who's the Deputy Chairman of EMDA. So these are all the, the tables ready to go up for the reception, and uh, that'll be uh, held after the opening. The type of companies that go in here are the ones that have graduated from the other buildings. So these have reached that certain stage of development where they're much more established and so this is more of a corporate sort of look to the building. You can look, think of this as sort of corporate HQ and that's sort of what we've tried to, to do here. So a nice big entrance atrium and uh, hopefully uh, you'll agree that it looks pretty impressive and that's the sort of thing that we wanted to achieve. who's going okay but we're this is more looking to the future so this is the space as I said for the companies to grow and move into so we're looking at this as being sort of three years down the road where it should be absolutely jam-packed but we've got two companies in here at the moment and we think there's another two on their way and that'll leave space for about another two after that so we'll go we'll go upstairs and have a look at uh, one of the companies that has already moved in This is the new laboratory facility of Signature Chemical Services. Let's have a look then, let's have a look at it. Okay, well um, all these essentially cupboards here are where we do the chemistry. We do research for the pharmaceutical industry, um, so we provide chemistry services for maybe a small pharmaceutical company that doesn't have their own chemistry. I think what we do like about the place, there's lots of light, there's lots of space, um, we do see that as it's a nice place to work and I think our, you know, the people who work here appreciate that it is a nice facility. There is a view now that you know, work should be somewhere where you, know, you actually enjoy what you're doing and, um, and certainly the environment is an important aspect of that. This piece of equipment here where, where Andy's stacking the test tubes um, is for purification. Purification is, is possibly the most important part of, of the chemistry that we do. 
Um, mixing the chemicals is easy, anybody can do that, but, but fishing out what you want of an appropriate purity is where the skill is, and this is a piece of equipment that helps with that. It means we're able to expand. Um, we can take on more work. We are a contract organisation, so we've been able to expand, take on more work, and um, be more successful. Uh, we're pretty impressed. I think, uh, I think anybody would be impressed just coming into the building and, um, and then obviously with our new, our new facility we, uh, we're responsible for it so of course we love it. So there's a fourth building on the site which is actually an old Victorian textile mill which uh, wasn't particularly useful for laboratories so what we've done is given it over to an organisation called Moot which is an arts group C came from uh, a group of Nottingham Trent University former students and they're ter busy turning it into a uh, gallery and artist studios. And the idea is that we're putting artists and scientists right next to each other on the same site. I think that the distinction between arts and science is pretty artificial and it'd be quite interesting to see what happens if we have everybody together in the same mix. It would, would have been a shame to do nothing with it, but it was, uh, and it's great as an artist gallery as well because it's got great big windows, huge ceilings, and fantastic light inside. So I'm hoping that it's going to be a success and people will be able to come to exhibitions. The first one is actually on the 3rd of October. So this, this will be uh, office space. It's, this is actually office that has been uh, set aside for signature, so they're going to be growing into this, but we have other offices further down. And um, this is really here for the companies to grow into. So what we have created with this building here, the Loris building, is, uh, future space so all the successful companies that come on through and develop from Biocity will be able to come on and grow into this building and Lorus is uh, the name of the building and it's Latin for success which we thought was pretty appropriate. Oh, we're really proud I mean particularly as we have seem to have got here so quickly when we started out we never imagined that we'd even sort of develop the other buildings let alone uh, get to the third one and so just as achieving anything, uh, going towards that goal has been fantastic.